hello, pray and share warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I am doing great. It is thundering and lightning outside. So I guess we are getting some more rain. And, uh, ow, I can't do, I got me an exercise thing, but I'm bumping my knees on my desk and causing an earthquake. So I'll just like rest my feet on here. Anyway, I want to talk to you tonight about the Jesus People Tour, which I have my t-shirt on. Oh, I'm stuck in my pedals. Got my Jesus People Tour t-shirt on. Went to the Jesus People Tour. I'm going to move this out of the way. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Sorry. I like to put my feet up on my desk when I talk. I need to scoot back a little bit. Anyway, we took our youth to the Jesus People Tour, so I want to tell you a little bit about my experience about that, and um, just, yeah, I want to talk to you about Jesus People Tour and Come As You Are, because salvation is so important right now, and I know I hammer that all the time, but God is the one that shares that with me constantly that salvation is so important for people to get saved through Jesus. I can't save anybody. I have no power to save. But Jesus has all the power that we need to save our souls. Because this world, if people don't repent, this world is not headed to a good place. It is not. So we're going to talk about those things tonight. But right now, let's just jump into some prayer. This thing now is hitting my ankle. Let's just jump into some prayer. My cat wants in. But then she doesn't really want in when she gets in. So we're just going to ignore her. God, we just come to you and we're just thankful, God. We are so thankful for all the many blessings that you've bestowed upon us, God. You are on your throne and you are in control, God, and there is nothing that is hidden from you. You are our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector. You are our shelter, God, in this storm and all storms. You are our strength and our refuge, God. You love us so much, God, that you sent your son to die for every one of us, God. You want none to perish, God. You want all to be saved through Jesus. And you have made a way. You have made a way to break the chains of the bondage of sin through Jesus. And God, just help us. Help us to have the boldness to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus with everyone we see. Help us to reflect Jesus. When people look at us, help them to know that we are Christians by what we say and by what we do, God. Let us always glorify your name in no other name and bow before your name in no other name. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, well... Oh, my eye itches. I am so sorry. Huh. So, I want to read to you what I wrote yesterday, if I can find it. It's impossible sometimes to find things that I write on Facebook. I'm going to look for it, and then I'm going to read you what I wrote today. Oh, gosh. It's so annoying when that does that. Okay, so yesterday, yesterday before I went to church, I shared this song. I'll go anywhere. Oh. I'll go anywhere. Oh. It won't, it won't do what I need it to do. Every time I pull it over, it... I'll go anywhere by the Circuit Rider music. And that is who we went and saw. We went and saw uh, Circuit Riders. 
and uh, they do praise and worship. Usually perform with other more well-known bands, but I think they're doing their own tour and their own circuit and everything. Not even sure where they're from. But um, I love this song and message by Circuit Rider Music featuring Lucas McLeod. I'll go anywhere on uh, on their new album. Their new album is called Jesus People. And I love the lyrics of this song. The Jesus People tour put on by this band was so awesome. This was my yesterday's reaction to what I had experienced on Monday. One of the most awesome experiences of my Christianity journey in Christian concert attending. Like really, these Christians are not just advertising that they are carrying the love of Jesus. They are physically and spiritually carrying the love of Jesus anywhere they go. So we took our youth to this experience and expression of love of Jesus. We thought we were going to a concert, but we were met with the hands, feet, faces, and love of Jesus. And so this was a week-long ministry that they did in each town that they went to. It was like a week-long ministry that they were going into the community and sharing the gospel and uh, ministering to people. And uh, then it ended with a concert on Friday where they had about 400 and a concert on Saturday, which they had maybe 250. Everybody was spread out. It wasn't like a normal concert situation. It was outdoors, and that was so wonderful. So this was a free event, and the love of Jesus was poured out on everyone. And usually at a free event, they pass a bucket or something because they have expenses. You know they have expenses. But they never passed a bucket or anything. I'm going to send them some money when I get a chance, though. And so if they come to your town, gather your friends, family, and church family. Because this is an awesome, for this awesome of outpouring of love. So... Evan and I got to see these Jesus people minister to our youth in such a special way. I mean, our youth were like too cool to worship, but these people came and ministered to them. They, they came to them and ministered to them. They personally ministered to me. They prayed for my pain. They asked me about my testimony. They shared their testimony with me. It was a very special experience. So there was only love and compassion in this experience. The Holy Spirit was moving people toward Jesus the whole time. And so I, one day this week, I'm going to post some pictures and uh, some short videos of our experience. So praise Jesus in prayers as the Jesus people to her moves to different places in our country. My spirit hungers for more Christian concert experiences like this. I saw the Great Commission up close and personal, personal, so very awesome and blessed. I will treasure this experience for many years. I'll go anywhere. So that was what I wrote yesterday. So uh, maybe if you get a chance, go listen to this song. I did not share it on my Awesome Treasures ministry page because I was trying to get ready for church. So um, let's see. So today, today I, um, I shared this today. And this song is called Hands and Feet. And I don't think it's, I think it's on their Driven by Love album. I'm going to, I'm going to get some of this music because it's just too good not to get. I'm going to get it from Amazon though. I like to, if I really like a band and I really want to support them, then I will purchase their album and I'll download it to my music. <clears throat> so this is what I wrote just a while ago. I'm still processing my spiritual experience from Saturday with the Jesus People Tour 
featuring the circuit riders. This was so much more than a concert. It is a movement to share the love, compassion, gospel, and hope of Jesus. As I look at the world, I see there is one common problem in people's lives, and that is sin. We all have it. Sin is bondage. Either we have repented of sin or unrepentant sin. Sin is a problem that will destroy our country and world as we know it. But the great news, the awesome news, is that Jesus came to die so we can all be free from sin. Jesus wants to set us all free. And once we are all free, he wants to use us to help spread his message of love, compassion, his gospel, and hope. We are called to be his physical hands and feet to others. This was my experience on Saturday. I saw Jesus in the faces of these precious people that God has called to carry his love all over our country to many cities. This movement is also about community ministry where they are called to go. It is easy to advertise that you are carrying the love, but the proof is in the action of carrying the love and the Jesus People Tour are carrying the love of Jesus. Um, we are also called to carry the love of Jesus wherever we go to be his hands and feet. We are called to share the truths of God and the gospel of Jesus. My goal is for people to know that I'm a Christian without having to tell them, but for them to know by my words and my actions I am being taught so much by my everlasting Father the last two years. I know that spiritual, spiritual, spiritually I have grown by leaps and bounds, not because of me, but because of Him. There is still no, so much to learn every day. God brings us new mercies and blessings, new choices too. He brought us here to learn to love Him with our whole heart, soul, mind, and strength, and to love others also as ourselves. Are you saved today? If not, call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Do not keep waiting. Time is running out. So come as you are. Do not wait to change your life. Do not wait to change your life. Come as you are. Oh, I'm sorry, I lost my place. Let Jesus do it. Let Jesus do the changes. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John three sixteen through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved today. Okay, so those are my two shares that I've done on Facebook. Oh, my earring's all wacky. Okay, I fixed it. So I feel, I feel blessed to have gotten to go and uh, do this. And I'll tell you what, when you, when you are going to facilitate a spiritual experience for others, it's a battle to get out of the house. And I had such a battle on Saturday getting out of the house, but I made it. I made it. So praise Jesus. So I think what I want to read, I wrote down some scriptures this morning. My morning scripture on you version was really good. It was in Hebrews, and I cannot remember which Hebrews it was. Let me see if I can find it real quick. I don't remember which one it was. It was not the faith one. Um, maybe I can remember the first of it. Ah, found it. Hebrews 13. I'm going to read that first. So this, my daily verse today was, uh, what was it? It's in here somewhere. Okay, I think maybe it's in here. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. I'm just going to start reading it, and I'll find it. I'll recognize it. And that's true. Um, 
We are to love everyone, and that is what I experienced at the Jesus People Tour. I experienced that unconditional love of Jesus. I don't, I don't care who you are or what you look like. People encouraged me that I don't even know that told me, God sees your sacrifice. Things that are personal to me, personal to me, they were telling me, uh, like, God sees your sacrifice, and he's going to reward you for your sacrifice. You know, I, I know that our youth group doesn't get it, but it is a sacrifice of our time to go and take them to do things that we, we believe spiritually is going to pour back into their lives. And so that's why we're willing to do it. But that lady was right. It is a sacrifice. I mean, it is time that I did not spend with my family. Um, it was time that, um, for me, it was excruciating pain for my feet to be standing on a brick, <laughs> a brick road for that concert. But anyway, I survived and my feet are okay today. So it's all good. But anyway, we do entertain strangers unawares. And there was this man. I'm going to start sharing more of my testimony with y'all. There was this man, and he had his baby. And he said, ma'am, could you spare some change for me to get me and my baby a hotel room? And I said, no, I'm sorry, I don't have it. And then he hadn't been, like, very far away. And I thought, you know what? That is not, I don't know. I don't know whether he's panhandling or whether he really needs money for him and his baby. And so who am I to judge what he needs? So I, I had him come back over. And I'm not going to say how much money I gave him. It really wasn't a lot. But I thought, well, you know, this is going to set an example, too, for these students that we are trying to model Jesus to them. And we are trying to love and help others as they are. And so I gave him, you know, a little bit. It wasn't enough to get a hotel room, but, you know, with other people helping, surely he was in a good place because he was in people, he was there with people that were very giving, spiritually and physically, just very giving people. And uh, anyway, though, but when I read that this morning about entertaining strangers, um, and that sometimes we're entertaining angels. You know, we don't know. I think sometimes God sends us tests to see what we're going to do with what we're given. And uh, I felt like in my spirit after he walked away that that was the wrong thing to say. So I called him back over and I gave him some. And I said, God bless you, sir. Uh, because I feel like that's what Jesus wants us to do, is to be his hands and feet. And uh, so anyway, that when I read that this morning, I thought, oh, good, I'm glad I listened to the Holy Spirit and not my selfish self that was going, I know I'm hanging on to my money. You know, I'm not giving it to you. Um, I'm glad that I let go of just that little bit because we are to... Sometimes we do entertain angels uh, unawares that we don't know. We don't know who they are. Oh, I need to sneeze. <coughs> I'm definitely going to do that away from the camera. Oh, wow. Okay. It was very windy on Saturday, and I'm still experiencing uh, allergies. So remember them that are in bonds as bound with them and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers God will judge. 
Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he hath said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. Be not carried about with diverse and strange doctrines. For it is a good thing that the heart be established with grace, not with meats, which have not profited them that have been occupied therein. We have an altar whereof they have no right to eat, which serve the tabernacle. For the bodies of those beasts whose blood is brought into the sanctuary by the high priest for sin are burned without the camp. Wherefore Jesus also, that he might sanctify the people with his own blood, suffered without the gate. So Jesus is our last blood sacrifice. We are not required to sacrifice animals like they were in the Old Testament for their sins. We are not anymore because God sent Jesus to be that last final blood sacrifice for sin. Let us go forth therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Uh, by him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually, that is, the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, for which with such sacrifices God is well pleased. Obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourselves, for they watch for your souls as they that must give, count, give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief, for that is unprofitable for you. Pray for us, for we trust we have a good conscience in all things willing to live honestly. But I beseech thee the rather to do this, that I may be restored to you the sooner. Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant. Make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. And I beseech you, brethren, suffer the word of exhortation, for I have written a letter unto you in few words. Know ye that our brother Timothy is set at liberty, with whom, if he comes shortly, I will see you. Salute all them that have the rule over you, and all the saints. They of Italy salute you. Grace be with you all. Amen. So I think that was the end of Hebrews. But, um, yeah, that is what I read this morning. And the Holy Spirit helped me find it right off the bat, just by the thing about entertaining angels unawares because when I read that this morning I thought well you know that man could have been an angel but whether he was or not I still feel like we are called to help people and whatever they're doing that is between them and God if they are doing something that is not um, kosher then that's that's between them and God. We are to help people. We are to be the hands and feet, and we are to help people when we can. And I knew that I could. Um, I probably could have given him more, but I didn't know how I was. I knew I was going to have to buy dinner, and I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do it. Sorry, I'm super thirsty today. I ate calzone yesterday for Mother's Day. And uh, lots of carbs seem to make me thirsty. Okay, so let's read uh, Romans 6, 
23. I wrote all these down this morning. Um, and then I was reading through this this afternoon, and I go, well, I'm just going to read all of this because it is called Sin and Grace. And um, I have another one, which is John 14, 3, that I wrote down. I didn't look up anything or print anything off this morning. I mean, this afternoon. Okay. I don't think John 14, 3 really goes with what we're talking about. So let's just read all of Acts, I mean Romans, Romans 6, Sin and Grace. Because I think that more goes with what we're talking about. We're talking about being the hands and feet of Jesus, being the love and the compassion and the, and the hope, you know, sharing the hope of Jesus. So I think Sin and Grace probably goes with that more. <clears throat> And then we'll do a salvation message. And then I'll share with you um, two days of my Bible study, my quiet time. I'm not going to do three. And I'm going to skip some of what I wrote this morning because some of it was very personal. And uh, I just want to keep that between me and God. Okay, so what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin, for he that is dead is freed from sin. Now, if we be dead with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him, knowing that Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath, hath no more dominion over him, for in that he died. He died unto sin once, but in that he liveth. He liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body, that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God, as those that are alive from the dead, and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then shall we sin, because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. So we are not to live in sin. If we have unrepentant sin, we need to repent of it, and we need to just flee from it, because <laughs> it, does it doesn't end good. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. But God be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered, <clears throat> which was delivered you. Excuse me. Wow. That sounds how, like <clears throat> how I started this morning. It was with not much of a voice. Okay. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh, for as ye have yielded your members 
servants to uncleanness and to iniquity, unto iniquity, even so now yield your members servants to righteousness unto holiness. For when you were the servants of sin, you were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. But now being made free from sin and become servants to God, ye have your fruit unto holiness in the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Okay, so sin is death. We have to put away our sin. And Jesus is the only one that can forgive us of our sin. So, sin and grace. We get our grace through Jesus. And once, once we have that sin erased and we have that new newness of life through Jesus... We shouldn't want to go back, but many people do. Many people do go back. Many people stray. Many people, my shirt, I, th I think my neck is crooked because all my shirts do this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I was made with a crooked neck. Who knows? Maybe I ought to just embrace it. It just is what it is. So anyway, we need to stay on the righteous path with Jesus. I want to show you something that I have been writing in my notebook just nearly every night. I mean every morning. Come just as you are. And then on the next page, come as you are. So this has just been an underlying theme for me. Um, Jesus is the answer. So I may just read you all of it. I may skip some things that are personal. Okay. Okay, so starting on the 8th, which was Saturday. I'm thinking the last time that I did a live was um, Friday or maybe Thursday. I don't remember. I don't know. This weekend was a blur. Okay, so good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share my truth, the gospel of Jesus, a new beautiful day to reflect the love and compassion of Jesus. And I said, thank you, God, for answering my prayers. And thank you, God, for another day of mercies and blessings of new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for all of my blessings, God. Thank you for all that you do, God, and how you love each one of us the same, that you gifted us uniquely to fulfill your, your plans and purposes, God. Help me to push through this experience today. Help me to walk better, God. Help me to be able to keep up and not lag behind. Please keep us safe going there and coming back to God. Thank you for the opportunity of kingdom worship again, God. So for me, before I left on Saturday, my thinking was, ooh, I get to go to a concert and do kingdom worship again. Woohoo! yay, I'm so excited. Um, and get to share that with the youth. And so he said, child, this is going to be a great experience for all with many lives changed and many souls saved. And there were, there were people that got saved. Um, the night before, there were 192 people that got saved. 
So there were people that got saved by this uh, tour. Okay. Many souls saved. Walked with Jesus today and all will go well. Put aside the things of the world today and focus on Jesus. Sharing my truths in the gospel of Jesus. Child, this generation needs to learn about Jesus. Teach them about Jesus. Model Jesus to them. Be the example that they see and hear. Love them despite the people they're becoming. They will be my voice in the future. Their world surrounds them daily. You hear it. Child, be the reason of wisdom and grace also today. Do not let things frustrate you. Take a deep breath and move on, child. And I said, okay, God, I hear what you are saying, and I will be the hands and feet of Jesus, the example of wisdom and grace and the example of Jesus they need to see. Please place your angels of protection around us, God. Help us to get close so we don't have to walk miles, and help me to be able to do it. Thank you, God, for meeting me this morning again, and I am thankful for the driver's license and a sitter for Seth, too. Please help Peggy watch him. Thank you, God. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. And he said, I love you, too, my child. Now focus on what has to be done today going forward. Be diligent, child, to your calling for me, and I will protect you. Walk with Jesus and model what that looks like, child. Walk in the fruits of the Spirit. And I said, okay, God, I will. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready at all times. No one knows but me, but it will be so glorious. And I said, Maranatha, God. And so... um. I'm thankful that we got there and we didn't have any incidences, you know, of scariness or fearfulness of people that were downtown that were kind of scary. I mean, it's all peace. I mean, you could feel the spirit there the whole time. I believe God's angels were protecting everyone. And there wasn't anybody there. There were... um, policemen on uh, bicycles and security and it was good. So this is uh, yesterday morning. Good morning God. Good morning child. I brought you a new day child of mercies and blessings. Of new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day child. And I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for your protection yesterday and the experience that we had. Thank you for showing me in our group the hands and feet of Jesus. Thank you, God, for this awesome experience that was just stripped down to what it should be and not with all the lights and hype like other concerts, God. Simple praise and worship for your son who reigns above all. And he said, child, I wanted you to see what this movement is about so you can be the hands and feet of Jesus where you are. There is so much to life than what is going on in the world to see. My people, my army for truth is rising up and they are mighty warriors. Join them where you are. You don't have to travel. Just be Jesus for those around you. Be a positive influence in the lives of these teens. Be there. Be the light for them that leads them to me, child. So many need to be saved. Many of yours are not, so keep sharing my truths and the gospel with them. Child, do not let up. So many events are falling into place for the glorious appearing of my son. So be ready, child, at all times. Be looking up to see him coming. It will be a sight like no other, child. You will not believe what you are seeing like a dream, child. It will be spectacular. And I said, I'm eager, God, but I know there is much more to be done. That... (laughs) 
Mm. Oh, I said that square, that square that we were on, on Saturday. I said it should have been packed, but the things of the world have taken over. We were in the center of things of the world, praising and worshiping. Jesus being anointed by your people, being ministered to by many of your children. It was my best concert experience in a long time, God. It was awesome to worship with my kingdom family again. I said, thank you for meeting me this morning, God. Thank you for all of my blessings, and please keep all of them safe today. Thank you that Seth said happy Mother's Day twice. I will make it special for myself, like always. It is okay. I love you, God, with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Um, give my mama and daddy a hug. So yesterday morning, I didn't go to Sunday school. I usually don't miss Sunday school, but I was tired. I was so tired. So Seth and I got ready for church, but it took a while because I was just so tired. I went to bed at 1. We got in at 12-something, but by the time I delivered the girls that live here in Glen Rose home, it was about 1 by the time I got home. And uh, <clears throat> so Seth and I just kind of, we had a lazy morning getting ready for church. We took our time. But I turned on praise and worship, and we were just praising and worshiping together, and it was so special. It was a special Mother's Day morning spent with my son doing something that we enjoy doing, which is praise and worship, you know. Um, he doesn't utter the words, but I know in his heart he's praising and worshiping, and that's what's, that's what's important. So again, come just as you are. <laughs> come as you are in the Jesus people. Well, I flipped it. I've left it tonight. Jesus people and come as you are. <clears throat> anyway. Oh, I didn't finish. I love you too, my child. Be obedient to all I ask, child. Your rewards wait at the end of your journey. With Jesus, stay on the path with Jesus. There are many that need Jesus. As you can see, even in a small area, Child, be the hands and feet of Jesus. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready. We'll be so amazing, child. And I said, Maranatha, God. So this is this morning, the 10th. Good morning, God. Good morning, child. I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share my truths in the gospel of Jesus. A new beautiful day, child. You already have accomplished so much this morning. Continue working for me today, child. Reap the benefits of working for me in obedience, child. And I said, thank you, God, for a new day of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus, a new beautiful day. Thank you for all of my blessings, God. I am so blessed. Thank you for all of my best ideas. And he said, child, rest in me this week. Many things are taking place at the same time. And can be overwhelming if you let it overwhelm you. Choose to rest even while you work. Rest in me. Child, you are mine and your heart is what I look at. You care deeply for people. But don't always get the same in return. And I'm, I'm going to skip some of this because I just am. It's personal. Okay. I put, I know that the best of my life is yet to come. In a land of perfection. I think I got a glimpse of that on Saturday. These Jesus people had faces that shone with the light of Jesus. That is my new goal for people not to have to ask me if I'm a Christian. 
but for them to know by what I say and do. I want to be the best example that I can be of Jesus here. Forgive me for the things I said about your children. Help my child to learn to pray for those that intend hurt. It is the best way to fight against our enemies. He said, Child, what you are speaking of is being a humble servant, and I will help you to be that. Do keep organizing also, child. It will give you a sense of great accomplishment, and you will know more th where more things are, which will give you peace too. And I said, thank you, God, for meeting me today. Thank you for speaking to me about my feelings. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to me in all I ask. Keep walking with Jesus, child, and be led to me in your final home. Make the best of the home that you have, child. Be thankful and grateful for all of your blessings, child. And I said, I am thankful, God. I am. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready for the glorious appearing of my son, my beloved son, that will wipe away all tears. And I said, Maranatha, God. Because, I don't know, I kind of woke up sad this morning. But I don't, I don't stay... I don't ever stay sad, mad, <laughs> sad, mad. Uh, what else? I don't always stay in the negative. If I go into the negative feelings, I don't stay there for long. I know how to get out. I know that I can read the word. I can listen to praise and worship. I don't have to stay there. I don't have to stay with the negative feelings. I can get into some positive feelings pretty quickly. Okay, so, what is this? An expired uh, insurance card. <sighs> I got that taken care of. I got my driver's license renewed. Praise Jesus. That was such a, oh, it was such a burden of an undertaking, but it's done. It's done. So now I have to wait for my bad picture to show up with on my driver's license. But I don't care. I'm legal now with my little piece of paper. Okay, so how do we want to share the gospel? Let's do it like, no, not with that. Where's the little thing that goes with this? Where's the little cardboard thing? I got lots of money. I got lots of fake money. I got lots of fake money. I don't know where the little card go went. All right, well maybe we'll do the bracelet. If I can find the bracelet with the card but no bracelet, I got the thing but no card. Well, that's just craziness out here on my desk. Huh. That is just too weird. Well, maybe we need to use another thing. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's inside there. We'll do this one. I like this one. All right. There's all my fake million dollar bills that I found. I found lots of them. I don't know where my bracelet is, though. I'll have to look for that. It might be on the floor. Ow. Seems like, oh, there it is. Okay. All right, we'll have it for next time. I'm going to get myself organized here. I keep hitting my ankle, which is the boniest bone that I have on this exercise thing over here on the floor. Okay. So let's use this. All right, let's see. How does this go? Okay, that's how it goes. Between you and God. Okay. Okay. Between you and God. I'm going to do a little gospel message. All right. Between you and God. What comes between us and God? What does come between us and God? Sin. We're talking about sin tonight. 
I'm just going to put it in front of my face and right there in front of my face there too. <laughs> oh, that's so crazy. So, my camera goes, uh, it goes yellow sometimes. Okay. So our sin separates us from God. And we talked about that tonight, that our sin separates us from God. So the light on the right, where is it? I don't have it folded right. Oh. Oh, there we are. Okay. All right. The light on the right. All right, there's got to be a way to get this in front of both cameras. This is so annoying sometimes. Okay. The light on the right represents God. And when we're in sin, when man is in sin, we're separated from God by that sin. Okay. I'll do my picture like this and I'll read like this. And so God is perfect and holy and loving and has provided a way for salvation. In contrast, the man in darkness represents a man in his sin. Separated from God, sin is more than wrong thoughts or actions, but a heart that is inclined towards evil. Uh, the Bible says, all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. Apart from God's grace, man is without hope. So we all need Jesus. We all do. So the cross. Okay. Maybe you'll do it like that. Okay, the cross. Jesus paid the debt for our sin. The cross is a picture of God's grace. God sent his own son, Jesus, to earth as a man. Jesus died on the cross for us so that he might take away our sins. 1 John 3, 5. The Bible says God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5, 8. Jesus took away our sin in his own body on the cross so that he could bring us to God. 1 Peter 2.24 and 3.18 The Bible says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life, uh, but have eternal life. John 3.16 There is nothing we can do on our own to pay the penalty for our sin. If we could, then God would not have sent his son to die for us. Only the blood of Jesus can wash away our sin. Okay, so let's see where we go from there. Okay. I'm just going to cover up that part. Okay, after... After Jesus died, men buried him in a tomb, sealed with a huge stone and guarded by soldiers. And if you'll notice, too, that stone was sealed. It was sealed. Um, it wasn't just rolled. It had a seal on it also. And so then the picture down here at the bottom is that Three days later, God raised Jesus from the dead, declaring that he truly is the Son of God and that God was satisfied uh, with his payment for sin. Jesus then appeared to many people before returning to his Father in heaven. Whoa. Okay, so the next picture is this one. 
Oh, well, where'd it go? There it is. Jesus is the only way. The only way we can come to God is through faith in Jesus Christ. Only Jesus has paid the penalty God demands for our sin. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father God except through me. John 14, 6. But just knowing these facts does not ensure salvation. We must respond to God's grace by trusting in Jesus Christ alone as the, o the only one who can forgive our sin and give us God's gift of eternal life. Okay, so let's see. There we are. Okay, there we are. Okay, trust only in Jesus. The penalty for sin is eternal separation from God. But Jesus offers you the free gift of eternal life with God. We need to accept this gift God offers. The way we demonstrate our faith in Jesus Christ is by trusting him alone for a complete payment for our sin. Payment of our sin. The Bible says that our sin is removed through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. Romans 3.22 are you trusting in Jesus for your salvation? The Bible says, If you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's Romans 10, 9. If you are trusting in Christ for your salvation, tell God by praying something like this. So this is a simple sinner's prayer. If you would like to be saved, if you don't want to say this prayer, you can say your own. But this is just an example of what will lead to your salvation. The belief in Jesus Christ, just like Romans 10, 9 says, will save you. And if you confess that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So this is a prayer, and I'm going to give space so you can repeat, repeat if you would like. Dear God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sin and that you raised him from the dead. I trust Jesus alone to forgive me and take away all my sins. I confess that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Remember, it's not the words of a prayer that save you. God saves you when you respond in faith to his grace. Remember, oh, if you trusted in Jesus Christ today, Jesus promise you, promises you in John 10, 27, and 28, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I will give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. All right, so then we have all these emblems here, okay? Because you were saved by the precious blood of Christ, you should follow God and learn to please him. Here are some of his requirements for you to grow spiritually. <clears throat> so the heart emblem is love God in all people. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind. This is the great and foremost commandment. And a second is like it. 
you shall love your neighbor as yourself. That's everyone. Everyone is our neighbor. That's just not just who lives next to you. I thought that as a little girl. I thought, well, that's just, I just have to love my neighbor. I don't have to love everybody, but we have to love everybody. We are called to love everyone as we love ourselves. And that's in Matthew 22, 36, 40. So then the second little emblem here is the little praying man. See the little praying man? It's like not as clear in this camera. I can't get it at the right angle. Anyway, it's a little praying man. <clears throat> Pray to God constantly. Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. Study the Bible. That's the Bible right there. Study the Bible, God's Word daily. Start with the Gospel of John. Read one chapter each day. Like newborn babes, long for the pure milk of the Word, that by it you may grow in respect to salvation. 1 Peter 2.2 2. And then the next one is going to be the handshake, the fellowship. Meet regularly with other Christians, not forsaking our own assembling together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another. Hebrews 10, 25. And then this emblem, which is kind of what we've been talking about, be in the hands of feet and feet of Jesus. The Great Commission, tell other people about Jesus. And he, Jesus, said to them, Go into all the world and preach the, co the gospel to all creation. So we are to tell everyone about the good news of Jesus. So if you did accept Jesus as your Savior, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Uh, your name is now being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And you are now uh, saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus Christ, His Son. And the angels in heaven are rejoicing. And this little thing right here is another E3 resources between you and God. So I think I've done everything that I came to do tonight. I am going to uh, give you God's blessing out of Numbers 624. I'm sorry that I haven't been here for maybe three nights. I don't know. Um, Saturday, I wasn't here at all. Um, if I wasn't here on Friday night, I think I was tired from the stress of the... I don't know. I might have done it Friday night. I don't know. I didn't do it last night because... I was really tired from Saturday, so I am rejuvenated today, and I am back, and I will I will not be here tomorrow night, though, because I'm doing training, and I won't be here on Wednesday. Oh, I guess I won't be back on here until, uh, let's see. I can be here on Thursday. I'll be here on Thursday and Friday, but I have training on Tuesday from 7 to 8 for human trafficking, and I am going to share a lot with y'all one night when I find out what all I can say and what I can't, and um, more training on Thursday, but I should be through in time. And if I feel really led, I will do a late thing on Tuesday. But anyway, I'm here tonight. <laughs> I'm going to read you this blessing. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. And be gracious unto thee. 
The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Number 6, 24 through 26. There's a song called The Blessing that has that verse in there. And it has so much more um, about how God guides us and how he wants to bless us now. He wants to bless us forever. He wants to bless our children and our children's children. And how you get those blessings is that you live for God. You live for God. You... Um, you walk in righteousness. We're never going to be perfect, but we can strive to walk in righteousness. And we don't have to live with unrepentant sin, which is bondage. We can repent. We can ask for forgiveness. We can turn away because it does not lead to any place good. Any place. You might be happy for a while, but you're not going to stay happy. And you're never going to have a peace. You're never going to have the peace of not sinning when you're living in sin you're never going to have that so okay let me pray I think that um, I'm going to go ahead and pray God we just thank you and we just come to you God with our thankfulness I thank you for this experience this once in a lifetime experience God that you just ordered everything into place God it was so awesome to see the way that everything was ordered into place that day and God we just pray I pray for anyone that comes on here God I pray for blessings for them protection provision for you to lead and guide and direct them God as they make decisions in their lives. And God, I just pray for Josie and her family and Mr. Mike and the boys and just anyone that comes on here and watches this, God. I pray that it's a blessing. I pray that your truths and your word will bless someone. I pray that many get saved, God, that many get saved. I pray for truth, God, to rise above all the lies that we hear out there about many things, God. I pray for truth to reign. I pray for the lost to have their eyes and their ears open to the truth, God, the truth about Jesus, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to, to Jesus so that they can be saved. We pray for the prodigals to return, God. We pray for all the disasters all over the world, God. We pray that you would send the hands and feet of Jesus to minister to them, to meet their needs, God. And we pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We pray for Tracy that her friend passed away yesterday, God. We just pray that you would be with this precious family, these five children, God, that you would just give this family peace, comfort, and strength, God. That you would give other families that have lost loved ones, God, that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength. God, that they would feel your presence in the absence of their loved one. That you would remind them constantly of the love that their loved one had for them. And how the loved ones now are in no pain no sickness, no sadness, only surrounded by perfect beauty every day, only surrounded by the light of you and Jesus every day, God. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, there's been a lot of loss, pray and share, warriors, so just please be in prayer for people that have lost loved ones. <sighs> Seems like there was something else that I'm praying. I'm praying for all these audits. All these audits that are going on. I'm praying for truth. And that's about all I can say about it without getting a strike. <laughs>
because free, free, <laughs> free speech is gone on some of the platforms. You can get on Gab and you can say exactly what you want to say. You can get on Rumble, you can say exactly what you can want to say. You can get on Frank Speech and you can say exactly what you want to say. I guess when the competition gets uh, tough enough, maybe these other platforms will back down on their um, what can I say? They're watching everything that we say. That's a good way to say it, and that's true. And I'm always going to bring the truth to you. Always. So, um, much love. Much love. Much love. I hope all my friends had a wonderful Mother's Day yesterday. Mine was a little different, but it's okay. I was really tired, but it's okay. It's okay. This life is temporary. Um, much hugs. Cyber hugs. Until I see you again. Good night.